Hello everyone. Hopefully this is the moment that you've been waiting for. Okay, today we're going to be doing the radical idea. This is a homemade problem. And you know, we had a poll that a lot of people voted on. Thank you very much for participating. And here's the radical idea. So we have this system, the square root of x plus the square root of y plus the square root of x, so on and so forth, equals 3. And we have the square root of y plus the square root of x plus the square root of y, so on and so forth, equals 2. This is a system, and they're both infinite radicals with the x and y alternating. But one of them starts with x, and the other one starts with y. And it's kind of interesting because you get different results when, obviously, x and y are different. Okay, I'll be presenting two methods, and let's start with the first method. Great. So for my first method, I'm going to observe the following. So since uh, looking at the first equation, I noticed that this equation uh, or this expression contains itself, obviously, infinite many times. So this part is also the same as the whole thing. Therefore, that should equal 3 as well. So we can write this as the square root of x plus the square root of y plus 3, which is the result, equals 3, which is the result. Great. Let's go ahead and uh, simplify this expression and see what we can find. Square both sides, and you're going to get 9. Uh, subtract x from both sides and square both sides again. This gives you y plus 3 equals 81 minus 18x plus x squared. And if you arrange the terms, like isolate the y here, you're going to get x squared minus 18x plus 78. So it's going to be one of my equations, uh, and I'm going to use substitution. Let's go ahead and take a look at the second one. If you look at the second equation, you're going to notice that this part is also 2 because it's just the same thing. So we get square root of y plus the square root of x plus 2, which is the result, equals 2, which is the result. Great. So from here, let's go ahead and square both sides. That gives us 4. And then subtract y from both sides and square both sides again. You get x plus 2 equals 16 minus 8y plus y squared. All right, let's go ahead and isolate x from here. x becomes y squared minus 8y plus 14. Awesome. So we got another equation. Now we can go ahead and solve this as a system, but this system is obviously easier to solve because it's not a radical system. It's a polynomial system. Great. Let's go ahead and use substitution. And uh, what I'm going to do is replace y with what it is. That's going to give me the following. x equals, uh, let's see, y is going to be replaced with x squared minus 18x plus 7, 8. I'm going to square that and then minus 8 times that. And then just add 14. If you expand this, I'm going to spare you the trouble. And we're going to be looking at the roots real quick. But this is the equation you're getting from here. x to the fourth power minus 36x to the third plus 472x squared minus 2,665x. Oh, man. Plus 5,474 equals 0. And guess what? This quartic equation has four real roots. Isn't that amazing? And here's the roots. Yay. So, but the only root that I'm going to go by is x equals 7. And if x is equal to 7, y is just going to be, if you substitute 49 minus 126 plus 78, don't worry, I checked the work for you, and you get y equals 1. So we have x equals 7 and y equals 1 for the solution to the system. Why are there four solutions? Because that's quartic. Why is 7 the only one? Because the others are extraneous and problematic and so on and so forth. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. And then, you know, we'll, we'll kind of compare these two methods. All right, great. So for my second method, here's what I'm going to do. Let me rewrite the equations. Square root of x plus the square root of y plus the square root of x plus dot, dot, dot. That is going to equal 3. And the other one is just equal to 2. And obviously, with different numbers, you can make up a system like this, like use 3 and 4, 5 and 6, whatever you want, and you'll just get a different system. This is amazing, I think. All right, anyways, so I'm going to go ahead and sub the second equation into the first one. Why? Because we can just go ahead and do it. Look at this. I'm just going to go ahead and sub it. So it's going to look like square root of x plus 2 equals 3. Square both sides, and you're going to get x equals 7. Now, let's go ahead and sub the first equation into the second one. 
and that's uh, this is what it's going to look like square root of y plus notice that this part is 3 square root of y plus 3 equals 2 and if you square both sides and solve for y you're going to get y equals 1 from here and smile you're on camera awesome great this brings us to the end of this video but well, thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it please let me know don't forget to comment like and subscribe i'll see you tomorrow with another video until then be safe take care and bye bye